Okay, Brian Vanigan from STG, and we're going to do part two of the Shift Vertex one-piece suit. We're going to take this bad boy apart and give you a look from the inside out, the nuts and the bolts. It has a removable liner, okay? I'm going to start off here in one of the sleeves. Your standard issue Velcro down here, okay, at the sleeve termination. Go ahead and loosen all that up. Tuck the sleeve in. Come to the other side. It's just simply going to be a mirror image exposed Velcro. Loosen it up like so. And just go ahead and kind of push it up in the sleeve. You know, this is something with a removable liner. Uh, you can go ahead and pull the liner out, wash it. It helps to reduce the odor in the suit. Uh, realistically, a lot of times if the suit smells bad, it's actually in the leather and you need to get the whole suit cleaned. Okay, liner and all. Let's talk about the back pad that comes in this. Um, like most other suits out there, it's simply a piece of foam. Okay, this is not enough to ride around on the racetrack. Okay. Not going to get a lot of spine protection out of that. So when you get the suit, you should have a standalone back guard. Just stay right there. I'll show you what one looks like. This is the one that I had on in part one. Okay, this is our Knox contour right here. Full size back protector with a tailbone protector added. And let's take a look at the difference here. Lots of protection. Really not much. And the reason most manufacturers do that is with a one-piece suit, most folks are already going to have or going to be purchasing their own. Uh, one piece standalone back protector, so there's no need for them to put one in the suit that's just going to get replaced. Let's go back to removing the liner. It also zips in around the torso. Okay, we're going to go ahead and grab the zipper here, come all the way around. They're using a zip that basically starts on the left side, lower part of the torso, torso and it comes all the way around. I like the way they've done that. That works out quite nicely. Okay, and now we should be able to reach in here, pull our arms through, like so. Let's come down to the legs here at the terminations. Bottom of the suit, once again, Velcro. It's a pretty standard issue. Undo all the Velcro, kind of tuck it up inside the leg of the suit. One thing I'd like to point out here real quick while we're here is each one of the legs at the bottom has this little loop, and what you can do to make the suit hang better, especially if the closet's shorter, is you can loop both of these over the hook on the hanger, and it makes the suit hang in a smaller area. So all the shift suits that we've seen so far have had that. Let's come to the other leg, mirror image. Undo the Velcro. Just go ahead and tuck that up inside. Like so, we should be able to get our liner out now. Remember when you're doing this stuff, you know, don't just go in there and go crazy and start yanking. The, the liner is not uh, not going to withstand, you know, any mishandling. There we go. Out it comes. This particular liner has some additional padding sewn in for the back of the arm, back here, okay, both sides. Lots of hip and quad padding. It's kind of a light density, um, energy absorbing foam there. You know, all in all, the liner, it's everything that I would expect. The quality looks nice. I think you'll be able to take this out and reinstall it several times with no issue. You know, Schiff lo loves the detail. Some screen printing there, pretty cool. Let's come inside the suit now and have a look from the inside out. Now, here is the race hump. We can remove it, like so. And what you'll see here, too, is this suit had has some perforation here at the top of the hump, right here. But when you come inside and you have a look at the race hump itself, the race hump is totally solid. No air is going to move through that. So that kind of nullifies uh, the benefit of having the perforation here on top of the hump because normally that would allow it to drive in through the suit. So, and the, the same would stand true for the the vents here on the back, they're going to be more cosmetic. These areas can let heat energy out of the suit, but they're not really going to work to drive any airflow inside of the suit. Let's have a look at one of the shoulder armors here. CE certified hard outer GP shell, energy, energy absorbing foam on the inside, Velcro patch top and bottom. You know, so you're going to have a certain degree of adjustability here inside of the suit, which is nice for sure. Now let's take a look at our intake vents here. Here is the intake scoop vents. If you come inside the suit, 
you'll see that they're backed up by a perforated panel of leather, so it is going to allow the intake vents to bring air into the suit and work to keep you cooler. Inside the shoulder, shoulder seams are one of the most vulnerable spots on a road racing suit. Shift has a double layer here. That is definitely pretty sweet. It's going to be a lot more protective than the single layer for sure. Let's go to the elbow armor. The elbow armor is slid into. There's a, there's a little pocket here at the bottom. It velcros closed. And at the very top, there is a velcro patch that goes over the armor. Let's bring that out. Here is our elbow and forearm. Hard outer GP shell, energy absorbing foam, CE certified. You can see here, let's see if I can show you some of this. It's just a, like a, it's a small pocket, it's probably about four inches long, okay, where the tail of the elbow and forearm armor slides into, and then from the top it velcros on. Easy to remove it, easy to reinstall it, not a problem at all. Let's come down to the knee and shin and see what we've got there. The knee armor slides into a large pocket, which is nice because that really works to keep it firmly in place. So they've used an entire pocket to house the knee and shin. Let's undo the Velcro at the top and then go ahead and slide the armor out. Let's get that out of there and take a look at it. Here is the knee and shin, hard outer GP shell, lots of energy absorbing foam. This is our area of coverage right there. Kind of give you a little bit of a look here at our armor pocket. You can see that it's utilizing another layer of leather here. It's kind of sewn into the suit. Here is the backing portion of that armor pocket. This liner offers a little more energy absorbing principles here. It's, it's kind of a multi-layer piece. So a little more protection in the shin area. Uh, you can see here, here's the back side of the, the shoulder stretch material. Okay, it's the best stuff out there. It's abrasion resistant, very strong, tear resistant. It's nice stuff. Let's kind of give you a little look from the inside out at some of the safety seams and such here in the paneling. You know, they use a lot of detail on the shift suit. It's a printed leather, okay, multi-panel design. It's important that they use the safety seams to keep this thing together with all the detail that they've added to it. We've got a neoprene collar. It feels good and comfortable against the skin. The back portion here at the base of the neck is perforated. It lets heat energy escape. Works to keep you cooler. Once again, the back of the suit. We've got some additional perforation down here um, on the back and in the shoulder blade area. It's going to let heat energy escape and it's going to take some of the air that flows in through the front of the suit and allow it to escape in the back work to keep you cool. It's important. Underneath the race hump here, perforated panel. We've got tailbone protectors sewn into the suit here. Back of the legs, more perforation right there. Remember the stretch allows heat energy to escape. Some airflow as well. Mirror image from the other side. All in all, I think the suit is very well made. They've done a fantastic job. They have some of the best designers in the industry. Shift's designs are a little bit different. Um, here is a new suit for 2010. This is their new colorway. Okay, Shift definitely has its own look and its own feel, and they've blended that with some fabulous quality. We think it's great stuff. One more time on the Vertex suit, I'd just like to say that I'm 5 feet 11 inches tall, 200 pounds with a mildly athletic build. The suit I had on in video one was a size 54. It fit me great, I think, for most people you're probably going to have to choose one size smaller than you normally wear. I'm normally a 56, 54 fit me great. All in all, the Shift Vertex suit, we're going to give it two thumbs up. It's a great piece.